Hi, Greg Griffiths here at Ivano Cycles, and this is the 2018 Live Temp 3 from Giant. Live being Giant's female version of bikes. So they do a full range of bikes, races, mountain bikes, hybrids, flat barrel road bikes. So the females and males you know, are uh, on an equal footing with the bikes that are available. This is a mid-range mountain bike. Um, it has an aluminium frame, front suspension, and 27 and a half inch wheels, which is the modern standard for the better quality mountain bikes. There's still some of the cheaper range that have a 26 inch wheel, which is slightly smaller. And there's a few other higher end bikes, particularly in a hard tail that have a taller wheel, which is called a 29er. But uh, the 27 and a half is the bulk of mountain bikes. So this fits into that um, most common range of wheel sizes. Uh, with this wheel size, they found uh, compared to the smaller wheels, it rolls a little bit easier and rolls over obstacles a little bit better. So it just means it's a little bit safer and easier to ride than a bike with the smaller wheels. Uh, comes in a number of sizes and even though the wheels are bigger, a small woman would be able to ride an extra small or a small frame size and they also come in a medium for the taller ladies. It has a aluminium frame which like all giant and live bikes has a lifetime guarantee so for the as long as the original owner owns a bike, the frame is guaranteed against material or workmanship defects. So that's a, a really reassuring point with the, the frames of all giant and live bikes. The Shimano components that uh, fit out the rest of the bike have a two year guarantee. And again, that's really good support from the two manufacturers. And as with all the bikes, Ivanhoe Cycles provide one year of free servicing with the bike. So uh, it's well supported by everyone. This particular bike, as I mentioned, has 27 and a half inch wheels alloy rim, stainless steel spokes, quick release hubs, all of the features that you would expect to find on a bike like this and you know, and would come on all the, all the Deere models. As I've mentioned, it has suspension, which is both adjustable and has a lockout. So you can regulate it to suit the weight of the rider or the riding conditions where you find yourself. And if you don't need the suspension or don't want it, you can just turn it off. So that's another nice feature on this bike. Also, we have disc brakes, which is now has become a standard feature on middle and upper end bikes. This is a hydraulic brake, so there's fluid in the line just as with your car or with a motorbike. So the stopping power is fantastic. And the main advantage being that it's consistent all year round, whether it's wet or dry, if you're off-road or on-road, whatever, the brakes always work the same. This bike has nice Maxxis tyres. The Ardent is a, a great off-road tyre. Um, Maxxis tyres are, are renowned for being one of the leading brands and it's nice to see a bike like this coming standard with, with a tyre of that quality. So that's not something you even need to upgrade, just wait till they wear out in a few years time and you could change them and perhaps put another pair of the same on. But Maxxis do make quite a range of tyres for different riding conditions. This is a general purpose off-road mountain bike tyre. Back to the gearing on the bike. It's 20, this bike is 24 speed, so it's Shimano Acera gears an eight speed cassette at the rear and a, a three or a triple crank at the front. So three chain rings, a tiny one, middle one and a large. So we have three times eight gives us our 24 speed gears. So with this bike, even a relatively unfit rider would get up most hills and a fit rider would be able to get them up easily as well, but also be able to go quite fast on the flat or downhill. So there's low gears for climbing, there's higher gears for that faster riding on the flat. So a really nice bike. Because it's a recreational bike, it's designed for to be versatile enough to um, suit a variety of riders in different riding conditions. So it does have rack mounts, so you can put a panty rack on the back for, you know, if it's a children's bike riding to school or to uni, um, or if it's a bike that has to suit all demands, so you ride to work on through the weekdays and then go for a weekend shop or a weekend uh, leisure ride, you can put a rack on the back and have your gear on the back of the bike. So it's well appointed, um, well equipped. Uh, being, a, being a female cycle bike, it has a female specific saddle, also made by Liv. So it's uh, probably won't suit everyone, but suits certainly suits most women. But if uh, and it's probably the most commonly changed item on most bikes is the saddle because we all have different preferences. It depends on our weight, our riding experience and these type of things. But the saddle on this bike is excellent. The newer ones uh, are reasonably soft. They have a nice shape and they have a channel down the centre to relieve some pressure. So nice saddle, nice bike, beautiful purple colour. 
Um, if you're in the market for a mountain bike, this would be a nice one to test out and uh, see how it goes. Or something a little more expensive or a bit cheaper. Up to you, but this one's a great one. Thanks.